much have humans changed over the centuries? Well, I'm not, I'm not an expert on this, but I, uh, I think one of the critical changes is that technology has enriched our lives. It's helped us know more, but it's come with a price. It has disconnected us from nature. And in disconnecting us from nature, it's disconnected us from our own bodies and our senses. And so we don't connect with the, the, the earth in a way that we used to. We don't connect in the earth the way indigenous people do. We've lost touch with just our, our physical awareness and our, um, and our perception of other people and of, of the things around us. And that's the price we've paid, I think, for, for living in a digital world and living with devices all the time. We've become robotic. I think we've become robotic. There's a wonderful book by David Abram uh, called The Spell of the Sensuous. And he talks about the awareness that indigenous people have, the sensitivity. You know, there are people who can walk through the jungle at night and find their way because they're aware of how, what, how, how the insects sound or what level in the tree in the forest canopy, you know, there's activity. We have none of that. And Jared Diamond, in his um, introduction to gun, germs, and steel, he talks about why the average New Guinean is smarter than the average Londoner. Because one of them walks through the jungle every day and has to be aware of everything around him and make decisions. And another one takes his paper and gets on the tube and goes to the same office every day. And that's what civilization has done to us.